I want to sneeze, but I just started recording, so I'm not I'm not gonna sneeze. What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are gonna be going through some of my all-time favorite images that I took while touring on the Melodrama World Tour. Uh, th these are gonna be a mix of both digital uh, and film photographs that I took, and really just my favorite overall images that I got to take throughout the course of that tour. We ran all over the world with, uh, with Lord on her Melodrama World Tour, so I had a lot of images to go through, but probably just like you guys, I'm stuck inside during quarantine, going through old photos and old memories, trying to remember what normal life is like. I thought what a better time to go through these images and pick out some of my all time favorites. Uh, so let's get right into these photos. So this first photo is probably my most popular image from that tour. Uh, it is an image of Lord bending over uh, a box that we took on the road. I believe this image was taken in Oslo, in Norway. The interesting part about this image, and I've talked about this before, so I'm just gonna go through it briefly, but the reason she's leaning over this box it is not normally part of her set uh, she was feeling extremely exhausted during the show and uh, afterwards she told me she was borderline about to pass out and that is why she's leaning on this box that she was trying to perform in front of an audience um, and put on a show and sing and dance and do the whole thing. She felt like she was actually gonna pass out and that is why she leaned on this box. Uh, luckily, I was in the photo pit during this moment. I had no idea this moment was going to take place and that is why I love this photo so much. It is sporadic and it shows that just kind of waiting for the right opportunities, will they'll present themselves in front of you if you're patient and you wait for them. So this next image was taken in Argentina. This was it, uh, a park in Argentina, right down the street from our hotel. So we walked over to it and just kind of hung out. It was a super nice day and we were in the midst of touring so if you can get outside during any point in tour it's kind of a, a gift because you're stuck inside a venue all day long we uh, walked over to this park and just kind of hung out in these cool chairs they had set up around there I had both my film and my digital camera with me and she wanted to see how the Mamiya worked so I let her uh, check it out and this is her trying to test and take a photo um, this is the actual image she took from the the Mamiya 7.2 which is a medium format film camera I love just kind of the vibe of this photo I love the color I love, I'm a huge fan of greens um, and then obviously it's just like such a chill environment um, outside of the venue which is very rare to come by during tour so that's why I love this photo. This next photo was shot on medium format during a show. If you guys do not know what medium format is, there's a slew of videos, go check them out. It's essentially a larger format version of film photography. And just as film photography, it's very difficult to shoot in low light situations. And this was during during a set and I was just kind of firing off with my film camera and I got this image. I love how it has like a ghostly effect, a little bit of a blur to it. You can't exactly tell what's going on, but the people in the photograph were kind of forming this cross it's hard to describe exactly what catches my eye with this image, but I just know that I love, I love it. <laughs> um, I love the blues. I love how sharp this medium format camera actually is. Um, I love the motion blur on the image. Um, kind of everything about this photo is what I love about film photography is it, it's imperfect. Uh, the colors are beautiful. You never know what you're gonna get. And that is, I think, why I am such a huge fan of film photography and this image specifically. So this next photo is actually in the green room. A green room is where an artist gets ready for the show or for the day or whatever event they're about to go go take part in. It's just her hanging out in the green room. She was getting ready. Uh, I love the outfit. She had a tons of outfits she chose from every single night and this outfit was really cool to me and I also just like how it's it, it's it's her personality to me this is this is the Ella that I know and um, it's just a great photo and uh, yeah that's that not much more to that I forget where this image was taken exactly but again it's just kind of backstage at a venue um, similar vibe as the last one, but this one was shot on digital. Just had her stand in this uh, hallway right in front of her green room. If you look, the sign in the background is her her name for her green room. So it's literally right in front of her green room. And then she had on, again, this amazing cool outfit with these stars on it. Um, you guys, I am not a fashion guru, um, but the outfits that Lord put on during the melodrama tour were insane they blew my mind and i can only imagine how many fashion gurus were like drooling over these outfits because they were all fascinating to look at and just beautiful on stage and off and then this last photo is very special to me this last photo was shot in mexico city and this is the final photo from the melodrama world tour so this is actually the last show um, and the last time she got off stage and got into the van to drive away to finish off the melodrama world tour so i thought this was a fitting image to use as my final my 
my last favorite image um, from the Melodrama tour because it really does embody the entire tour. It embodies the, the, the exhaustion. It embodies the, the happiness of like finishing off such a monumental moment in her career. The, again, the outfit is fire, so it's just a dope outfit. And um, it was an exciting moment just being there and being like, holy shit, you're like, melodrama world tour is done. This was the last show. And I think that's why I love this image so much. So you guys, those were my favorite, my personal favorite images from the Melodrama World Tour. Um, all these photos mean so much to me and to have had the opportunity to be entrusted to document the Melodrama World Tour means more than anyone will ever know to me. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, it would mean so much to me if you subscribed and commented and liked and did the whole thing down below. We are on our way to 5,000 subscribers on YouTube, which is insane. So thank you guys so much for hanging out. Uh, I will talk to you next time. Peace.